Hi everybody, I'm Ryan Levick. Today we're going to get up and running with the Rust programming language. We'll talk a little bit about what Rust is, we'll install the language, and then we'll go ahead and get started with it. Here you can see the rustlang.org website. This is a website where you can learn a little bit more about Rust. The most important thing for you to know when learning Rust is how to install it and how to learn more about the actual language. We'll take a look at the learn section first. Here you can click on the learn link at the top of the website. And then at the bottom of this page, there's the read the book link, along with other links for other optional material that you can go through. This is the Rust programming language book by Steve Klapnick and Carol Nichols. It's a really great way to get up and running with the language. But how do we actually install it? The best thing to do is to go to rustup.rs. This is a website for installing the Rustup tool. If you're familiar with other languages like Node, this is the NVM equivalent, the Node version manager equivalent, where you install various Rust tool chains. Now, by default, your tool chain will be for your computer. So here I'm running on Windows 64-bit machine, and I'm going to install the Rust compiler that works for that. But if you want to install a Rust compiler for a different tool chain, let's say for an IoT device or for WebAssembly, as you probably will want to, then RustUp is the tool for you. So come to this website, and if you're on Windows, go ahead and click on the RustUp init.exe that allows you to install through a wizard. Um, if you're on the Windows subsystem for Linux, then you can go ahead and install it here. And of course, if you're on another operating system like Mac or proper Linux, then you'll see the uh, instruction uh, the instructions here. So if you go ahead and follow that, you'll have Rust up on your machine, and we'll see what that looks like in just a second. You'll also want to go ahead and install some sort of editor. You probably have one that you prefer to use. Uh, a really great one for use with Rust is uh, Visual Studio Code. That's the one that I use. But of course, if you want to use something else like Sublime, uh, Vim, Emacs, then there should be no problem, but we're going to be focusing specifically on, on VS Code just because that's the most popular uh, Rust editing tool um, as of today. Along with that, we're going to be installing the Rust Analyzer extension for Visual Studio Code, and this provides a language server for Rust that allows us to uh, have syntax highlighting, um, red squiggly lines when we make a mistake, um, and just general good feedback uh, about what we're doing with the language. And then in addition to that, we're going to also uh, want to install Rust Format, which just like other tools in other languages like Go Format, um, allows you to automatically format your code so that there's no um, discussions about how code should be formatted. You just let the tool do it for you. And Rust Clippy which is a really great tool for linting your Rust code just to tell you if you're maybe doing something that's technically correct, but maybe not a best practice. So what does this all look like in practice? Well, I've gone ahead and installed RustUp on my machine already. You can see I have RustUp installed here. And if we do RustUp show, you can see that on my installed tool chains, I have a bunch of them, including the ones that work natively with my Windows machine. Uh, the x86-64 PC Windows MSVC toolchain. And this will be installed by default for you. So you should see something similar to this depending on which machine you're on. And the most important thing that RestUp installs for us is the Cargo tool. Now Cargo is a really great tool that allows us to create new Rust projects, build those Rust projects, build documentation for our projects, run tests, uh, install packages and dependencies that we have. So Cargo is something that you're going to be dealing with on a daily basis. If you have RustUp, RustUp automatically also installs Cargo for your machine. So once you install RustUp, run Cargo, and hopefully you should see what you're seeing here on the screen, Rust's Package Manager. Now, to make sure that everything is running well, um, what we can do is run Cargo New and then provide a project name, and I'm gonna call mine my project. And it seems uh, my project already exists, so let's do another one. My project two. And you can see here that it created a binary package. So we can go into that. And we can go ahead and open it in VS Code. 
Now again, now that you have VS Code, it's important to make sure that if you go over to Extensions, that you have the Rust Analyzer extension installed. There are other Rust uh, related extensions, but the Rust Analyzer extension is the preferred option. There's the official Rust language server extension, RLS, but that's being deprecated in favor of Rust Analyzer. So I definitely recommend Rust Analyzer as the way to go. And again, this provides syntax highlighting, red squiggly lines when you do something wrong, um, and general goodness when it comes to Rust. So inside of here, you can see a cargo package. We have a source file, that's where our code goes, target, where our build artifacts are gonna go, and something called a cargo.toml file here, which is where we describe our package and put our dependencies. And you'll notice in here, we have a main.rs file, where we have our main function and something where it says print line, hello world. And Rust Analyzer is very helpful and allows us to have a run uh, function here that we can just click on. So we can go ahead and click this and you can see that it printed hello world to our terminal. And if you get to this point, then you know that, uh, that Rust is installed properly. Now, another thing that I recommend to you to do, again, like I said, is to add Rust format. You can see the instructions here where you type in Rust up component add Rust format. And with this installed inside of Visual Studio Code, you can go into settings here and type in format to search for it. And you'll want to select this format on save if you don't already have that uh, checked. Format on save for Rust files will automatically run the Rust format tool when you save your file. And also installing Clippy works in the same way. So you just do Rust up component add Clippy. And when you have that installed, then you can over here run cargo Clippy. And we don't have any warnings on our particular project because we don't have very much code, which is a good sign. Um, but you can see if you have any warnings that you should be taking care of. And with that, you kind of have an ideal and optimal environment for writing Rust code.